finally it is time to create our first pipeline our first build pipeline so to do so we just navigate to pipelines and we click a uh, new pipeline so uh, devops is asking us now uh, where is your code and how do you want to create your pipeline so there are a couple of different ways to do the pipelines and as you see here on the top microsoft is really pushing this yaml uh, way of creating uh, repositories it is a um, way that I'm not quite um, yeah, uh, keen on working because it looks something like this. It is essentially a script. Uh, you have also a bit of an assistant here, which is going to help you uh, with a certain things. You know, it's going to add uh, like this, this options for you so that you can uh, create your tasks. But I, I really don't, don't appreciate it that much because I, I believe at the end of the day, it's really error prone. Uh, so just to explain, I don't appreciate it that much in small scale projects. It is really, really useful if you want to build a template of your projects. For instance, if you're a consulting company and you have your own product and your pipelines, which are used all the time, uh, then having the, the standardized YAML file pushed in the repository of your code and uh, then just registering it afterwards would make complete sense. But like this, you know, it's just uh, doesn't worth it and it's it's really, really error prone. And uh, I I would rather just go with, uh, with a plain and simple uh, classic pipeline because I think it's quite easy to understand. It's quite easy to edit uh, for everyone. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really understandable. So I just uh, selected a classic pipeline and the classic pipeline is asking me a couple of questions. So where is my code? My code is in Azure repos Git. I have my project, I have my repository and I have my branch. So I'm just going to use a dev branch because the dev branch in my case is the branch which is always being uh, developed, is always being worked on. And I'm going to press a continue button. Now, there are already a lot of templates that you can choose from in order to build your code. But just for fun of it, I'm going to uh, go with the empty job for now and let's see how this goes. Will I be successful in creating my first pipeline? Uh, on the first screen, we are able to choose the name of the project and uh, agent specification, agent pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some name and we're going to call it uh, MVC build pack, something like this. And agent pool, we're just going to use the one that we created before. So local M container, the one that actually runs on my physical machine. And we have let's say the basic information about, about our pipeline. Uh, it will tell us where from to grab the code, should we clean the, the repo or not, th this kind of thing. So basically uh, quite, quite detailed uh, way of, of managing the whole uh, source. Um, and the next thing is uh, the agent job one. So now we can add our tasks inside the agent uh, job. So we can, we can rename those. Uh, those uh, agent jobs, but let's just create our first uh, step. So our first step, what do we want to achieve with the project? So we want to uh, build our code and we want to uh, publish the code. So essentially we want to, as a, as, a, as, a, as a result of this pipeline, we'll have a zip file, which is going to contain our complete application that is going to be deployable to a certain resource. In our case, it's going to be an Azure App Service. So I'm going to press the plus button here and first option here is .NET Core. This is exactly what I need. I can also use the search box and write .NET or um, App Service or something like this and I will get <coughs> different tools to, uh, to use. So .NET Core, based by Microsoft, developed by Microsoft, sorry. I'm just clicking an add button and by default, .NET uh, is uh, using a command build. But what I want to do is I would like to have a command restore. So this is, this is the command that I would like to use because what I want to first do, I want to restore all the packages that my application is using. So it is okay if I just have the, the, the name uh, restore here. It's, it's absolutely no problem. 
and uh, what I would like to hear, what I, what I would like to do here is essentially I would like to go to uh, just quickly to refresh my memory where my project is in the repository. So it is under MVC, MVC app, and uh, this is my this is my project. So essentially, I can I can run the the whole path of the folder, or I can do something I believe uh, like this. So this I can actually click the info here. Yes, this is exactly what I need. This is like a wildcard, which is going to search for all C sharp projects in in all subfolders to restore the packages. Uh, so. That's actually it. It's quite simple, everything you need to do. You can specify a uh, destination directory or you can just leave it out to the DevOps. The part two would be, again, .NET Core and we would use a build, really the build that we, that we need. And we can use exactly the same wildcard. It's completely fine. And we can paste it right here in this inbox. So. What is this going to do? It will build all the C-sharp projects that exist in our repository. Next stage would be to publish our code. And publishing our code is quite simple. We just use the command uh, here, which is going to be called publish. The only thing what we actually need to do here, we need to provide a certain arguments. So it's already checked that we want to publish the web projects, but I would like to specify what kind of configuration do I want to use to publish this project and where do I want to store this zip of the published projects. So uh, first thing, the parameter for uh, configuration is minus minus and then we write configuration and then we can pass the configuration. So if you just go quickly to variables, um, there are actually none of them here. So we can just add here and say uh, in, in the configuration, we can say build, build configuration would be uh, release. So we're adding the variables inside, inside our pipeline. And uh, now if I just go quickly back to the, to the tasks, I can go in a publish and I can just use this variable. Maybe it would be a good idea to essentially copy paste this and paste it here. So now we know that our job is going to use the, the, the uh, release configuration. And what I also want to do is I want to copy this thing to a predefined DevOps uh, variable, which is called built, I believe built artifact staging dire staging directory. I think it's it's exactly like this because uh, what I'm going to do one more thing is going to be I'm going to publish uh, build artifact. Ah, this one, this one is actually working fine for me. Yeah, he has the value actually the default value right here. So I can just copy paste this value uh, in my previous step as well. That should actually be it. Uh, we want to store this to our uh, DevOps. So right here, the zip is going to be hosted exactly on our, uh, on our project, rep not repository, but the dedicated space in the DevOps when it's storing the, 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 the artifacts, not on our local file share or anywhere, uh, anywhere else. Just let's leave it on the, on the pipelines. The name is going to be dropped. So. What I want to do now, I want to save and I want to queue this pipeline. So be aware that my pipelines are quite often, uh, when, when I create them, uh, red. So this is, I believe, quite common for uh, yeah, many, many uh, DevOps guys. Um, because essentially, sometimes you just miss some, some part and, uh, huh, but I didn't miss anything. It seems that it successfully executed the task and it was quite fast which is a bit of a alarming right now so let me just it actually seems that he did the job so if i just go here on the pipelines click on this one uh, open my last run i see that i have one published uh, artifact 
in my drop folder and it is called MVC uh, test MVC web .zip. so I can even download this file um, and it will contain everything that I that that this uh, steps have uh, created so yeah, this is essentially how you build your pipelines. Uh, the next step would be to deploy those pipelines, uh, to use the pipelines, uh, the artifact that we have just created, um, to deploy it to the Azure resources. In order to do this, first thing what we will need to do, we will need to set up a couple of things. We will need to set up the Azure resources, but this is something that I'm going to split and add to another video. So thanks.